Make hay while the sun shines to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hart Nelson here. I know we've talked about this idiom before, and I probably shared this story about when I was a, a younger girl growing up, probably preteen to teenage, our neighbors hayed. They had cows and they had hay fields, and so they would do haying. And to do haying means that you're cutting and piling and drying and collecting. And then back then they had a hay baling machine that would go around and make the bales and leave them in a field. And we'd go around in a, on a cart, all of us kids, and we'd pick up the bales and throw them on the cart and stack them on the, the wagon or the cart to take them to the barn for storage. Now they have all kinds of different technologies for making hay. But back in the day, we actually physically made hay bales. So I get where this idiom comes from. It's super duper hard work. It's dirty, scratchy, buggy work, but rewarding when you see that the barn is now full of hay and the animals are going to eat for the season, right? So it's an English proverb that uh, was first recorded by John Haywood in 1546 in his collection of English idioms. And it basically means to work while you can turn something into your advantage. So how do we do this for our business? What does this have to do with growing a billion, supersizing our business? I guess number one, there's a process we use to do everything and we can be continually improving that process and figuring out better, faster, easier, more efficient and effective ways of getting what we want all the time. Uh, our goal today for the annual challenge or our goal framework that we're discussing is the five principles. And they're of course, uh, principles of complexity, clarity, uh, commitment. I'm taking a look, challenge and feedback. All of those, those are the five principles in that particular process of creating goals for yourself or your organization. And if I think about those with respect to this particular idiom or expression, it, it gives me some ideas of how I could apply it to building and growing and supersizing my business. Number one, it reminds me to build on my strengths, do what I'm good at and farm out or uh, team up with people to do the rest, to do the things that I'm not awesome at. It reminds us to do that in our business as well. Focus on our strengths, build on those strengths and create what we want. Another thing, do more of what works. I can't believe how many businesses I talk to. We'll be discussing, you know, what they've done, what they're doing, what they've done in the past. And it's incredible to me that they'll have had a super duper successful project or product line or campaign or something. And they do it once and have this great result, but then they never do it again. And I guess I'm probably guilty of that as well. I did some summits and I've done some other things online that were super duper successful, but I, for whatever reason, decided not to do them again. So I, I understand how easy it is to fall into this trap, but it's better to repeat the things that work for us successfully, automate and repeat those things than to always be searching and looking for new things. Trust me, the world is changing fast enough that we're always going to have to be looking for new things. We want to take advantage of the things that work. Uh, we want to model other industries. One of my, I think, secrets to making life simpler and less stressful is learning from other industries and other people, modeling what works. Because what works in one industry often will work in the in another industry. You might have to tweak it and change it a little bit. But for the most part, things that are super successful in one industry definitely translate to another industry. Uh, and then my other thing on this is customers. If we focus on our customers and continuous improvement, will never go wrong. I, that's just my opinion, but my experience has shown that if you're caring about your customers, if you're paying attention to them, if you're solving problems for them and making sure they have a great experience with you and your organization and continually improving that, you're light years ahead of any other person or business that is in your same type or similar type of business. It just helps you to stand up and stand out from the rest of me too type businesses and companies. Uh, had a lot of experiences the last month or so with just really ridiculously bad customer service. Like so frustrating. You're just like wanting to pull your hair out because there's just no customer service there. Anyway, topic for another day. Have an absolutely amazing day. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another business related idiom. Probably tied into goals since we're focusing on goals this year for the annual challenge. Uh, love to know if there's an idiom you would like to know the history of and how you might be able to apply it to your business. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.